hope that when people see them riding cross country uh, for the cause, that they just kind of reflect back and think about uh, the people that were affected uh, and the people that are, are still affected to this day. Stop and think and, and to remember uh, not only the 343 firefighters that died on September 11th, but uh, there's been firefighters that are affected by that day every day. Uh, there's a lot of firefighters that worked at Ground Zero that have contracted cancer uh, due to the, the products that were there and, and the, the rubble. Um, and there's firefighters uh, and EMS workers and, and even you know the police officers that were all working down there uh, the days after September 11th. They're, sti they're still feeling the effects. Yeah. The group of us decided to ride our bikes across the U.S. to memorialize all those that have sacrificed since 9-11. Our goal is to reach ground zero uh, before September 11th. Uh, if we stay on track, we'll get there on September 9th and uh, then we'll be able to be there and uh, just memorialize all those on that, on that sacred day. We're mostly firefighters, active, some a few of us active, um, a good majority retired, and then we also have uh, vet, uh, military veterans. We had talked after the 10-year anniversary, we talked about doing a 20, 20th anniversary ride. It, it went so well and it's so inspiring to ride our bikes across the country and just drop in from town to town firehouse to firehouse, community to community, and just bring them with us uh, all the way across the United States and, and b basically build that bridge from West Coast to East Coast in honor, at, you know, at the time we rode for the 343, but, but now we're really riding for everyone that sacrificed, uh, not just those that have sacrificed on the line, first responders and military, but also the families that are sacrificing back at home.